Hi, this is Dosbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles Conquest of the Underworld. I'm probably going to just say Heroes Chronicles from now on. It's a little quicker. Okay, so we're in the middle of the first week of the first scenario in the Conquest of the Underworld campaign. We finished up that battle that we were in at the end of the last episode. Notice this witch's hut here teaches earth magic. Very, very useful skill. Certain spells that are earth magic spells, such as Town Portal, are really handy no matter what kind of hero you're playing. So, heaps of treasure and resources are simply lying about on the ground. So I've decided to concentrate on building the troop generation dwellings right now, rather than concentrating on structures such as a town hall. Yeah, sure. Of course, my advisors agree this tactic is wise. Well, we, do, we are not doing it that way, but... What Tarnum doesn't know won't hurt him. We're going to try to build up the capital, so we're going to turn our fort into a citadel. Yeah, we did see our first blue heroes. It's last turn. I think if we spot one, we should... Oh, look! See that? That's our first infernal castle. Let's see if Tarnum can take that out. Now yeah, we're going to save the game here. Yeah, that's the original 1939 film version of Goodbye Mr. Chips playing in the next room. Good film. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. I bet there's another hero inside. For one, Gog is not worth doing manual come. Now, yeah, a few more troops inside there. Okay. I think we can do this. This is just a straight fort. There's no arrow towers yet. We have some heck hounds, some imps, or yeah, and a few gogs. We've got a bigger army than they do. Uh, looks like we don't have enough spell points to do magic hero. So we're going to have to do this without magic. Okay. Ooh. We have a lot of pikemen. We don't have a lot of other things. Rats. I'm going to do this on autocon. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is a little bit earlier than I expected to be assaulting my first Infernal Castle. Oh, yeah. We should probably really give some of those pikemen to the one of the secondary heroes, but it's nice to have them now. Okay, now we just have the enemy gogs to deal with. Of course, they're behind the walls, but you see that breach there? Since we just have a fort, there's no moat, so we might be able to walk the pikemen right through that breach. Oh, 
Oh, I hope we don't lose too many pipemen. Well, I don't have that many gogs. There. Oh. Okay, so the, I think the the purple guys are all on the other side of the uh, barrier. That was quick. Of course, you know, the scenario hasn't ended yet. Ooh, some familiars. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? There. That's what I was aiming for. Okay. Okay, so we need to build a marketplace and a blacksmith. Ooh, we can get ammo carts if we build a blacksmith here. So I think we'll do that first. Oh, hang on. I'm no, yeah. I thought that was probably the case. Okay. There. Let's see what we have here. Oh, magic arrow again. Haste. View Earth. Spell and slow. Sorry, buddy, but we got orders not to let anyone pass through here. The guy who gave us the orders is a lot scarier than you are. Nothing you can do to us that he can't do worse. Of course, I think I just got done killing him. Oh, of course, familiars specialize in draining spell points from enemy heroes. Of course at this point in the campaign Tarnum doesn't have an, doesn't have that many spell points to drain. Okay. Okay. That'll work. Okay, some more marksmen who 
for whatever reason, don't want to join Tarnum's army. Okay, we'll just... Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'll basically send everybody around to learn earth magic and buy ammo carts from the Infernal Castle that we captured. And pick up resources some more. Okay. It may be wiser to ignore piles of treasure near a mine and get the mine under production as quickly as possible, says one of my advisors. There's always time later on to pick up treasure, unless of course there are enemies about. Also, you should hire another hero to help you. We can be attacked from both the east and west, and another hero to protect the flanks is needed. Yeah. You know, like normally... If I delayed longer in capturing the Infernal Castle, I'd be having the Inferno Hero from that one coming down to attack. But, hey. I took that castle a lot quicker than I expected. Okay, some pikemen that didn't want to join us. And I think we'll take him down this way to guard my archers. Still don't have enough spell points to be able to cast Magic Hero yet. But we'll definitely attack the cl whichever stack of pikemen is closest. So we don't have the range penalty. Okay, I don't think we're quite ready to tackle the Griffin Conservatory yet. Yeah, and we can finally build the capital there.
There we go. Oh, looks like he's going to have to pick up some resources himself because he can't reach that stack of imps that we wanted to get to. Okay, now... Okay, let's start building some troop generators here. I know it's I don't trust the inferno critters but might as well use them as troops okay Okay, then we need to get Edric out of the way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, good. Now, Tarn, we can get out. Can't get all the way to the familiars. I mean, the amps. Then we can try the gog. None shall pass here. And gogs are missile troops, so we want to advance. And let's see. Oh, good. I think we can finally. Oh, so those are, those are gogs, and those are magogs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll finish this battle up off camera and probably finish up the first week in the next in the next episode. So we will see you then.